How's it going, YouTube? Frisco YGO here, coming at you with a, another Time Thief deck profile. So, uh, yesterday at the GG for free, hosted by my friend Logan JYA, um, I got third place with your Time Thieves. Uh, if you saw on my last list that I got seventh place, it's a pretty similar build with slight changes and optimizations. Um, and I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for all the other Time Thief players out there that uh, want to keep updates on what I'm doing with the lists. So, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and get right into it. Uh, let me go ahead and just switch scenes. All right, so I got the deck right here, and uh, let's uh, let's just go into it. All right. So this is the IRL version. This is a dueling book tournament. Let's keep that in mind. Um, but um, yeah, I mean. It's a it's a really good tournament. It's free. You get some decent prizing. Might as well, right? Might as well play. So starting off the list, we are playing three copies of Time Thief Regulator, um, Rescue Robot, as we like to call him. Anybody who saw the last video, um, you guys know this is. Anybody who's watched any of my videos knows that this is the best card in the deck. All right, just saying, just saying. All right, three copies of Regulator, all right, and uh, three copies of Time Thief Stratos. This is uh, the the one that you summon off of this dude. All right. <laughs> All right, next um, we're summoning, uh, you know, one of these guys off of uh, Regulator as well. This is Time Thief Bezel Ship. This is your in archetype DD Crow, um, as well as your in archetype Battle Fader, as is what I like to call it. Um, just one of them. Next, onto the Rocket Engine. Um, one card Dragoon right here. Two Tracer, really good, really really good. One Recharger, which is a uh, kind of like a. I don't know what to call it. It's a hand trap. So if you open it, it's not totally bad. Um, I would be playing one more of this, uh, but sometimes you just want a different name. So Silver Rocket uh, is definitely a good choice to play in lieu of the others. Uh, next for the final extenders is Parallel Exceed. This card comes in clutch so much. Um, you got You just got to play it. You just got to play it. All right. Uh, On to the hand traps here. We are playing three copies of Ash. Uh, two copies of Skullmeister, which I didn't see at all during the tournament. And uh, three copies of Gamma with the one driver. So we're playing um, eight hand traps. Not bad. Um, it gets the job done. It's all you really got to know. All right. Um, also, Skullmeister is a level four. So uh, there's a lot of times where you don't use your normal summon. In a pinch, you could just summon him and uh, go for there. So uh, next, we're playing the uh, the bricks for the Dragoon package. Um we're playing three copies of Prosperity. This card is amazing in this deck. You should you should 100% be playing this card. Just saying. Uh, and then three quick launch with the one boot sector launch. All right. So, yeah. Uh, for the one of spells, called by Dragoon or Red Eyes Fusion. And uh, then for the traps, we're still playing the three flyback with the retrograde. Um, as you can see, the list was cut down to 40. Um, yeah, I think uh, playing it at 40 is definitely a lot better than playing 45, which means we cut some of the excess fat, no more crackdowns, and all that good shit. Um, on to the extra deck. Uh, we are playing two copies of Time Thief Redoer, still pretty mandatory, and uh, two copies of Time Thief Perpetua. Um, I said this in the last video, I'm going to say it again. Perpetua is a two of, or a three of, not a one of. For the rest of the XYZs, we're playing one Dweller, one, Abyss, uh, one Raider's Knight, and uh, one Arc Rebellion, um, just for some OTKs and some Graveyard Lockdown in, you know, the way of Abyss Dweller. One Dragoon, nothing, mm, yeah, nothing to say there. Um, and then for the Lynx, we're playing one Almirage, uh, one Striker Dragon. I decided to cut this to one. I know I said the two was really good, but um, uh, I decided to play some more uh, other cards in the extra deck that would just allow for uh, more options, I should say. Um, Link 2's, Anaconda, Lambda, and IP Mascarena. Um, it, with the Mascarena, we're also playing the Unicorn and the Axis Code Talker. That's going to wrap up the uh, extra deck here. Um, and it's literally just so, like, you're not always going to see uh, the pot. So if you have access to make Axis Code Talker so that you can just swing for game with Dragoon and maybe a Redoer on field, you might as well. All right, for the side deck, we're still playing three Gadarla for Bird Up and all those other Tri Brigade variants. Um, still pretty good. Uh, we're also playing the three Droll and the two Bell. Uh, again, really good. 
Uh, we are playing some back row hate, Cosmic Cyclone, and Harpy's Feather Duster. And then a card that didn't get played at all uh, was evenly matched. I didn't really have a game where I felt like I needed this. Um, yeah, not much to say there. Um, so that is it for the deck. I do want to go over my matches with you guys because this GG for free was um, nerve-wracking to say the least. Uh, I did stream the GG for free, so if you want to see me play... Uh, in the GG for free, you can go ahead and check out my Wednesday streams. I'm normally streaming from noon um, until the end of the GG for free, which starts at 6. So sometimes it can go for 10 hours, sometimes it can go for 12. I'm streaming pretty much all day though that day. Um, so let's let's uh, start from the beginning. Round 1, I played against uh, Live Twin Eldritch. Um, it was... To be totally fair, this guy was still learning the deck, so he didn't know a lot of the interactions. And um, he was activating things which shouldn't have been activated. Like, um, like for instance, instead of chump blocking with uh, Hakuero, he was summoning it in standby phase just to have a monster on board. And I feel like that was 100% incorrect. Um, but, yeah, so that was a 2-0. Um, I gave him some advice, and, uh, you know, I moved on. Round two, again, live twin Eldritch, but this time against a player who actually knew what they were doing. Um, again, 2-0. I didn't let them play. Uh, I just kind of just, you know, negated their stuff with Dragoon, spun back their monsters with uh, Redoer, and then just swung for game next turn. Um, Eldritch was... Uh, the Eldritch cards were actually really good. Um, putting them in Grave kind of sucked, but... Um, being able to steal those traps off the top of my opponent's deck and then use them against them. And at the end of the turn, before they can even activate them and banish them, I would just steal them with like a flyback engrave. Um, so I couldn't get the uh, the extra advantage. It was it was a really... Eldritch is a really good matchup for Time Thief, just in general. Um, round three, uh, I played against uh, Guru, Subterra Guru. Um, so I won round one he won round two going into game three um we went into time and he should have won he 100 percent should have won but we went into time um after grinding for like 20 minutes maybe i don't even know but we we were grinding it out and uh going into game two um it was really rough it was it was really rough so uh, he misplayed when we went into time. And instead of imperming Redoer, he went to go negate with Dragoon after trying to pop it. Um, he had 3,700 uh, life points left, and I still had full 8. Um, he went to go pop my Redoer with Dragoon. I did uh, Dragoon effect... Or no, uh, Redoer effect. Um, and then he negated with Dragoon instead of using his set imperm. Um... And that cost him the game because we went into time and this was in main phase one. So at the end of the phase, I would have still had more life points than him. But if he would have would just negated with Redoer um, or negated with Imperm, then he still would have got the pop. And then he would have popped Perpetua and we, he would have had more life points. Or uh, uh, yeah, he would have had more life points at that point. Uh, maybe. If I'm doing the math, I'm not entirely sure, but I know he had he only had like 37 or 3,800 life points left, and I'm and I was pretty high up there. So yeah, that was um, that was that. Uh, round four, I took my first loss of the night, um, and it was against uh, Tri Brigade. Um, it wasn't Bird Up. It was like Tri Brigade with just other generic extent. I think it was pure, if I'm being totally honest, but. Um, he just, he just outplayed me. Um, he was a very, very well-balanced player, you know, so I give him a lot of props. Um, and in the final round, um, I was playing against, uh, Eldlich something. I played three, three Eldlich matchups, to be, to be totally honest. But, um, Eldlich something. I don't entirely remember. All I know is I won. Um, I 2 owed him pretty, pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, that was my um my pairings i went for one uh third place um won some turbo packs i think and yeah um but anyways uh 
that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this one's a little bit different. You know, I'm sitting here in the dark and uh, I'm trying a different aesthetic for the uh, camera. Um, and I kind of like it. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I kind of like it. But anyways, in the meantime, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you stuck around to the end, uh, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you feel like I deserve it, comment down below your thoughts. I want to hear all that stuff. Follow me on all my social medias. All my links will be down in the description below. Hit up the Discord and follow my uh, Twitch. All right. Have a good day, guys. Uh, love you. Stay hydrated. Deuces.